but you can just switch. So um, that one is there, and the other one was the less than good exceptional module. So I guess that's it. Let's equip weapons. The only reason I'm not already doing that and placing uh, these modules in there is mostly because of um, of the amount of turrets I have. I don't have uh, a large amount of great turrets to place. I would to, to fill all these slots. I would have to place some really crappy turrets, and then I would have to spend a lot of time later on to change them again. So. Uh, no point. I rather just place the best ones, and when I have better turrets, we'll we'll worry about that. So let's just keep going. Let's place the turrets. Organize it by material and rarity. Material, we have Xenian first, so let's place a couple Tesla turrets for starters. Let's put them probably down here is not such a bad idea. Okay, we're gonna place this launcher I'm not sure where, maybe here Maybe not And what else? Uh, let's place the pulse cannons. We need one... How many do we have that we can place? So one... Two, although this is a single, a single turret. There's another triple. Not that many, huh? There it is. A Neonite Pulse Cannon, too. So I guess we have three, perhaps. Three that we can use. There's another one down here, but it's just trash. Um. Okay, so one can go. Uh, this has got a small inclination, right? Yeah. Okay, right. There. And 
the other one should also be a triple. Let's see where it is. This one is single turret, like we saw, and there it is, a triple. Now we need to place it exactly in the same place as that one. Okay. And this one needs to go somewhere in the middle. Oh, okay, he needs to be placed in Zanion or better. This is made of Trinium. So and this cranium. Okay. Done. Now it should fit. Okay. What else? Tesla, we already placed. Mining, double mining. Chain gun, chain gun, double lightning, laser, quad cannon, double railgun, and plasmas. So let's pick up these launchers. Uh, I'd rather use the ones with guided missiles, like this one. Let's see, where are we going to place them? Fifty seven or sixty one, sixty four, two times one twenty eight. Okay.
what else? So we have three missile turrets. Let me check something. Okay. So missiles can go to four. Teslas might go to five. And these to three. Now, cannons. Where are my cannons? Quad cannon turret. Double cannon turrets. What else? More cannons. Devil cannon turret. Let's place it. Let's see where. Are you able to fire forward? I don't think so. Let's place it somewhere else. Who knows? Maybe even here. If it fitted... It would work, but it doesn't, so let's place it somewhere. Easier to handle. Maybe right there. Okay, let's find another cannon. There is one there, but uh, let's use these, made of nanite, and this is a double cannon. We are gonna place it There. Size is different, but who cares? And let's pick up this exceptional neonite cannon right there. We are good enough with cannons, I think. So cannons can go on one, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now let's pick up some railguns.
Okay. More. More railguns. We have these down here. We have any other exceptional one? I don't think so. We do have this cannon, which is also maybe closer to the size of that one. So. Okay, and um, more railguns. These are mining chain gun. Okay, we need to check the chain guns, but not right away. Another rail gun, plasmas, quad plasma, quad cannon made of neonite. Triple cannon made of neonite. Both of them are synchronized weapons. But this one is made of titanium. Okay. Let's see. So cannons at one, and these are going at two railguns. Now let's place the plasmas. So plasmas uh, let's start by finding the best, so double plasma turret. Plasma, what plasma in this case? Hmm. 
level plasma 336 triple plasma 101 quad plasma 94 double pulse cannon made of nanite exceptional okay let's place one more pulse cannon this time uh, we can place it here and we're gonna need an another one so let's see Not sure I want to use this. This is so bad that uh, I think I'd rather place Yeah. Let's place instead um, this guy. If I can find it, of course. made of neonite, right? So there it is. Okay. And... Plasmas. Stronger plasmas. Like this one, to thirteen. Triple plasma. We're gonna place them, but not right away. One oh seven, one hundred, sixty eight. 106 Quad plasma turret, I guess Okay, so get out of there, and you, yeah, that's better, and the big one that I just took out, this one, will go There. Uh, what else? This is quad cannon made of Zanion. Let's take it out and place it again. 
a little further back. Let's see. Okay. Starting over. Cannons are one. Pulse cannons. No, actually, railguns are two. Plasmas can be three. Um, pulse cannons, maybe four. And missiles will be six. We only have four missile launchers. Now we have still a few slots, but now we're gonna place miners and salvagers. So double mining. Double mining. And salvagers, uh, laser devil salvager. Okay, and double salvager, let's see, we have better ones I think, double mining, 
made of cranium. Nice. Double mining made of neonite. We need more salvaging. Salvager. These are giant. Okay, let's see. So we have all up to six, so s mining will be seven. And salvaging will be eight. And we still have four slots. Those four slots are gonna be for this triple plasma turret. And probably to ideally it wouldn't be for this. Ideally, uh, now I would place some chain guns all around facing all directions and put them under AI command as anti-aircraft guns. Um, but uh, I don't have good enough chain guns for it. Burst fire, synchronized fire. Eh, okay. Burst fire, independent. Okay. Let me check. Uh, either we place. These plasmas. And we can also place, like I was saying, the chain guns. But this time they are not, like I was saying, facing all directions and working as uh, anti-aircraft guns. For that, I would have to place uh, something like, where is it? Like this, Organite Turret Rotation Lock. It forces the turret to face a specific direction, and that way I would, I would be able to place turrets facing sideways and backwards, uh, and under AI commands so that they would work as anti-aircraft anti -aircraft turrets and guns. Um, I'm not doing, doing it right away because I don't have good enough turrets for it, and not enough slots. The ship is still more or less small, so to speak.
but that's it. I guess we are full. Okay, so... These are... Okay, we are gonna place... The Shane Guns. Probably in the same place as the Plasma Turrets. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Now, let's see... Takes a while for them to get all over it. But I think I'm happy with it for now. Let's just see individual firing. So, cannons. Okay. Railguns. Okay. Plasmas. And chain guns also, one on each side. Pulse cannons. There is a railgun forgotten in there. And doesn't seem like all the railguns are firing. Okay, that's better. Okay, we have a railgun that is not correctly tagged, so railguns are a 2. Okay, let's see, so railguns... Yeah, and there is also... A pulse cannon mislabeled. So let's see all the tubes. Either mislabeled or not labeled at all. Doesn't seem to be the case. Let's turn off these, let's see. Okay, the railguns. Now let's take off the railguns and. Okay, the pulse. Pulse is not working fine. They take a long time to aim, they stop aiming when they are turning fast. 
they stopped firing. And straight forward, only three of them fire. Upwards, the two, the two lower ones won't fire. And that's because they are placed in a bad place, which is right there. Let's move them out. This is a double plasma, and this is Tesla. Pulse cannon. Okay, there you are. Oh, I get it. So you're pointing downwards because of that slope. That's right, I remember now. So let's remove you from there then. And let's place instead. I wonder. Maybe in this back. In these back wings. I don't know. I was trying to leave them empty. To place some decoration inside instead um, but okay why not for now they will still not be able to fire upwards I guess what if I place it yeah neither in there will still have okay that will have to work where is the other one It's a triple pulse cannon turret. Where is it? There's also this chain gun turret that we could also take advantage of. Pulse cannon, pulse cannon, but I don't think it's either of these. There it is. Okay. I guess that should do it. So, pulse cannons are... Where? At four. Okay. Four and four. Let's see how it goes now. That's better. Much better. Still able to fire below. And certainly able to fire upwards. Okay, that's better. Now four is out. Let's see the Teslas, I guess. Short ranged. But good to take down shields. Okay. Um, five. Let's see the missiles then. Ooh. That's an amazing burst. I wonder why. Let's see. Oh, right. Double launcher, exotic, Zanian, multiple projectiles, burst fire, guided missiles. If I could have 10 of those, oh god. It would be brilliant. Oh, 
Okay. Now these are miners. And these are salvagers. Perfect. So, yeah. Pirates? Yeah, pirates. And still the Zotan, I bet. Yeah. Floating around like an idiot. I don't know what to say. What are you doing here, you idiot? You don't attack, you don't go home. At least the pirates suicide in greatness. Attacking stations, as they should. Well... Let's get these pirates. Let's kill these pirates! Time to test the speed of destruction of my new ship. I'm also gonna try them out on the Zotan for comparison, for comparison with the damage I did earlier. Ooh, I'd say that your ship is no match for mine. Missiles go. Ooh, that hurt. This will hurt even more. You boys now don't stand a chance. A little while ago, with the other weapons, yeah, it took forever to take one of you down, but now. Take care of that Zotan ship and get the sector completely cleaned out, and then we can explore a little more this corner over here to see who's there, and maybe even work to get good relations with the Ethio Syndicate. Why not? If I could, I might end up doing a home sector around here. protected by rifts on all sides. Well, there is an entr entrance through here, which I don't like very much. But, uh, the alternative is to keep exploring. Where is the Sotan? Who are you? 
mobile buoy core provider. Ha ha! I want some buoys. Buy buoys. How many? Depends on the cost. 36 million or 3 3 million 600. Well, that's a good price. I'm not using any buoys, so not even sure if I should buy more for now. Probably not. I have a lot, I think. <clears throat> Let's see. I have... How many cores? 18. I have 18 cores. Buy. Bought ten boys. I have to go. I don't exactly have a license to be selling these things. License to be selling this thing. Good luck. License is not license. It's license. Ha. <laughs> okay. Mr. Sultan, now it's your turn. What? You're not ready? Well, you should be ready. I'm not waiting. Ooh, railguns. Ooh, railguns, you're pissed. It's not gonna do any, any good to you. Let's go, Mr. Sultan. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Don't call for backup, please. Okay. So, sector is cleaned, um, let's see the trades, so we already saw that this is only 12 of them, not worth it, body armor is probably the same for a trading post. At 60 to 142. How many are you selling? No, no way to see. It's really far. And it's a sell to who? Hmm. 
we can check it out. Mining robots, 114 to 193. Same places, not really, but close enough. How many? How much money do we have? 241. Should I even bother to explain that a Vorian is not a cell?
an empty station. Okay, let's do some trading. Let's check how many these guys need. Fighters. Okay. I have no idea, to be honest, why is it that these mining fighters are taking so long to build, while these that started to be made way later, I started making these a couple of days ago. And I started making these maybe 15 days ago. I don't get it why this this squad is so slowly built. Probably because of the efficiency. They are better. Durability 42, mining efficiency 46. But they are made of Neonite. These ones are made of Xenion. I know the, the, the efficiency is only 22. And is rare, while these are common and uncommon. But even so. Chemicals Factory. Okay, let's buy... Let's see how many these guys want, by the way. So, body armor, 4,400. Let's buy them. Body armor, they are paying 142. These guys are selling at 60k. Let's see how many they have, fingers crossed. Also, mining robots may also be an interesting trade, but uh, we'll see. We'll go there later. They want 4400. That's a great number for a tremendous profit if we can only find 4400, considering they are paying 142k for each. That's a tremendous price. Now, Berlin, Zaukun. 
Is he online? I don't think so, the shield is recharging, so... Doesn't seem like it. Maybe he is, let's see. Berlin Zhao Kun. Nope. He's not. Expected because the shield was slightly down, which means the modules were not active. So he's not online. It's a cool ship. I'm not exactly sure which way is up and which way is down. It seems to be like this or like this. But it could it can even be sideways. If it was like that, it was even perfectly fine. But I think it's uh, like this. An industrial design. Very nice indeed. Taken from the workshop, of course. Um, where is... Seriously? Oh, okay. The mining robots have grown even more on the profit. So let's see. How many of these guys are sailing selling? Um Body armors. Oh my god. Oh my god. And speaking of which, how many war robots? Just for the heck of it. Let me just see how much. How many of them? 396. Not that much. But in here, I'll make a killing. On this single trade, I think it will be the biggest profit, probably, on this playthrough. I won't say the biggest profit ever, because that's almost impossible. I've done trades way, way higher than this. And some of them I won't ever be able to get to do again because they were made before the economy update. So since then I don't think I ever found uh, such gigantic trades as I once did. It wasn't that common, but every so often you were able to find an absolutely enormous trade that would give you hundreds of millions of profit.
So, right now, it's not so easy. Okay, let's take them all. What? Nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna take them all. I said all. I mean all. Okay. Again? Why? Oh, I can only afford! It's not that I don't have the space, it's that I can only afford. Fine, I'll spend all my money on body armors and I can still come back for another 250 if I want. So, let's sell the body armors. There's an asteroid there, or a beacon. A Zenian mine. Okay. Whee! Let's go. Real quick. And make a killing. So, I just spent, what, 230 million? on body armors was that it 230 million okay so let's sell them so for an investment of 230 million how much profit am I going to make I'm not even gonna do it on a move I'm just gonna park and savor it Okay, trade for body armors, huh? No, not in here. Okay, body armors four, one, five, four, sell five hundred and ninety three million. So if we take from this the 230 that I invested, that's the modical amount of 260 million of profit. No, actually, 360 million of profit. Which is truly amazing. I can even go get uh, another 250. Uh, but on the way, I'm gonna jump... Let's see. These, I know they only have maybe 400 of them. 400, that's maybe 9, 18, that's maybe 30 million profit. Uh, 30 million profit? No, yeah, that's maybe 30 million profit. Um, I don't think so. War robots, I think we already depleted them. Teleporters. Uh, for the research station. Anti-grav units. From there to there. <laughs> there are a lot of trades for a lot of money. But, um... Considering how much money we we have, I would prefer to start buying resources. Problem is, no one has resources to sell, mostly because it, it just became a lot harder to mine for the said resources. Basically, because we have restricted fighters, so... People cannot use the fighters for mining, and because they've gotten accustomed to them, 
they became lazy, so nobody likes to mine anymore. And so, everybody is buying from the resource depots again, and they are all depleted. Like that one. completely empty. I do have some Ogonite, but I need a lot more Zanian at least. Uh, and even so... I could also use some Avorian. Well... Let's explore. So, we've checked all these sectors, so now let's see this one and that one. Okay. We could also use warheads, but we can't seem to find any. Another, another thing that people are probably hoarding like crazy. Why? Well, basically because it's a very important ingredient to do several turrets. Especially cannons. So, let's see. One of the problems I have is that most of my older designs all have Avorian already incorporated into them, so... It's not like I can just choose one of them and use. I don't have Avorian yet. So, um, I'll have to do... I'll have to increase the size of this one that I'm using, probably, to be able to get into the core um, and get some Avorian, so that later I can build other ships. Ideally, I would like to to build this one and finish it. Because it's not finished yet, obviously.
Okay. Let's see if we jump to the to that side then. Either the sector has a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, what's going on? doesn't seem to have too much delay. Zotan again. Well, I don't like the fight while I'm carrying so many so many crap on my hold and much less with this temporary cargo base but uh I don't want to cause the destruction of the ship of that guy I'm gonna have to defend it before I jump out thing is this is this is why I keep telling people look we have uh, PvP restriction outside the core and we have um, we have a feature to, f to, to make uh, player damage to be disabled if you're offline so your ship cannot be attacked by other players while you are offline the ship will be visible, it's parked wherever you left it, so other players can see it, but they are not able to damage it while you are offline. However, NPCs can still attack your ship when you are offline. That's why I keep telling people to not park your ships on habitat sectors, not even by NPC factions. Even if they are friendly to you, uh, if you're gonna log off, jump to an empty sector and park your ship there 
The reason why is, like you saw, he left his ship right here. He parked it here, and um, he must have thought, well, okay, I'm gonna leave my ship here, other players cannot damage my ship, and the faction is friendly to me. Yeah, it's true, and um, as soon as he logged off, the sector unloaded, if nobody else was here, no other player were here, the sector unloaded, and the action stopped. So, his ship was perfectly safe, because action, action only resumes when a player enters the sector. Thing is, it's an habited sector, so chances are players will eventually come here just exploring, because they see the green dot and they go there, or they follow the gate and they get there. So, at some point or another, there's a chance a player will go there. A much higher chance than if it is an empty sector. And if a player comes here, like I just did, action on the sector will resume. The sector will load, and action will resume. NPC ships will resume directions, and eventually, the sector will get invaded by pirates or Zotan. And those pirates or Zotan will be hostile to his ship, and will start attacking his ship, and they are able to do damage. So, indirectly, a player who's just playing the game and has no fault whatsoever may come to the sector doing his stuff, some trading, whatever, and inadvertently cause the destruction of another player's ship while he's offline. Now, there's no way to avoid this. Uh, other than the player itself being careful where he leaves his ship. Um, however, I should also warn people that um, if someone just now got to his ship and start pushing his ship against the NPC station, uh, eventually the NPCs will, would turn hostile on them and would destroy his ship. That would be a way to circumvent the PvP restriction we have for when players are offline. However, I should remind you that we know and have ways to know who does, who does such a thing and it's not acceptable. It's considered griefing and it might get you uh, a warning or worse depending on the situation. You may end up fine finding yourself expelled from the server, so don't do it. Play fair, uh, by the rules, and you should be okay. If you want to do PvP, go inside the core and wreck all the ships you want. Outside, leave other players alone. And uh, either inside the core or outside the core, for God's sakes, park your ships outside habitat sectors. Park your ships in sectors where no one has a reason to go to. I could, for example, because I know this, so I know his ship is there, and I know that if the sector gets invaded, I have to either defend this ship or jump out real quickly for the sector to unload. Uh, but there are many players who don't know this and might be completely oblivious, do their stuff, and meanwhile, that guy's ship gets destroyed. So, just don't... Don't make that mistake and park your ship in an empty sector. Now, let's keep exploring a little more. Let's 
let's get here. Doom Drinker, haha. <laughs> That's the name of the owner, Doom Drinker. TCV Battle Cruiser. Okay. Hmm, scanner upgrade, hyperspace interdictor, object detector, laser turret, quad plasma railgun turrets. Nothing useful. There is a player mine in here. I've already seen it. Yeah, right there. Diamond mine belonging to Corrupt. Is he online? Nope. So, warheads, why don't you sell me some of those? Okay. There are lots and lots of subspace signals. Let's jump. I don't want that station to get destroyed for that guy either. Uh, let's jump over there, check these habited sectors. Uh, and maybe these two. And that might be interesting. We need to check who's there. I hope it's not these guys, but it's very likely that, that it is. Uh, how about some trading? Any new trades? Nope. Just the same old. Okay.
There's another one right there. Uh, this seems to be a salvage yard or a massive battleground. It's a salvage yard, but I'm not gonna salvage anything. It's almost everything made of what? Iron and titanium. Seriously? This close to the core? Are you serious? Some Xenian. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, that's a good one. For five minutes. We're gonna salvage for five minutes. Let's see. I can't remember which one it is. So salvaging is group 8. Um, yeah. What? Who arrived? Anyone? Just you? A ship from Purple Emo Kid? <laughs> 